Hi, my name is Lily Phillips and I am best known for being UK's biggest loser. Bring in the boys. <laughs> How many of the are you? Eight. Eight. Light work. That's rookie numbers. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Are you all here? Yeah, we're yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Right, number one, where are you from? I'm from near Birmingham, a place called Warsaw. Oh, f***ing hell, right, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> number two, where are you from? from? Pardon? Here, London. London, whereabouts? South London. Mmm. <clears throat> Near me then. Bit of dick on doorstep, I like that. <laughs> Number three. I'm from you... Surrey. Sorry. Oh, posh. <laughs> posh. <laughs> Number four. I'm from here, Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's worse, Brummy or Liverpool. Oh. What am I on now? Five, is that? Satney girl, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you South from? South East London, Bromley. Bromley? Yeah. Is that near Essex? No, it's not far from there. Okay. Out there. I forgot yeah. what I forgot how to count. Number six. 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 Now I'm from South West London. South West London. Near Wimbledon, nice. but a bit of a shit old part. Not yeah. selling it to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, number seven. I'm from East London, Barking. Oh that voice is very soft. Barking. Number eight. I'm North West London. North West London. Mm. Right now, who's got the biggest c out of all you lot then? That's what I want to know. Definitely number five. <laughs> 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 oh no, is he like the small, the shortest or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> number hey, five, how tall are you? Tall enough for you, I'll pick you up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, am I, can I ask, am I taller than any of you guys right now? No, no. 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 Oh, fuck. Okay, so you're pretty big. Number one, when was your last girlfriend? February this year. February? Okay. Now that's giving you enough time to get over her. How many girls have you shagged since then? I went on a bit of a whole stage, about 20 or something like that. T 20? Yeah, yeah, yeah. me. I go to raves and that. <laughs> Number two, when was your last girlfriend? I ain't been in a relationship in a minute. In a minute? Well, how, how long's a minute? About four years. What, so what have you been doing for four years? Just been getting to the bag, working out, improving myself. Are you pretty rich then? Got a lot of money? I'd do my thing, I'm alright. Take right. me on a nice date, yeah? Potentially, mm. you know about the seabird. <coughs> seabird? Yeah. What's that? It's like a seafood restaurant. Alright, slow down. Number three, <laughs> what about you? Three years, four years, something like that. Three years, four years, okay. Say about a year now since I was in my last relationship. Oh, I can't get over that accent, right? Just skip that one. What's that then? What do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> when do you want to go? <laughs> when was your last relationship? Two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago? Yeah. And what, what have you been doing since then? Just uh, bettering myself. To be watching fair. a lot of then? No, I don't, yeah. I don't use me and you know. Really? No. Wait, so you've never watched any of my videos? Not, no, I didn't, you know, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I don't Two like minutes that. ain't enough. <laughs> <laughs> Number six? Uh, like, I was seeing someone in September and then I found out she had like a secret boyfriend. What? Or oh. four, four years, and then I was like upset crying to her, saying, How oh, could you do that? She farted on me twice. Oh. Wait, but did you say you were crying? Well, I was upset. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's November, Men, Men's Mental Health Month. Uh, no, and that's why I was saying that's very good. Really? You should cry. <laughs> when was your last relationship? Oh, that, four years ago. Four years ago? Yeah. Why are all you lot losers? Yeah, like, why has everyone not had a relationship? Who's a loser? I am not, and that's not, I'm not a loser. Yeah, no, I'm just very picky with my selection, because, yeah. Picky. What type of girl, what's your usual type? What's your type? What's my type? Would you say BBC. What number was that that said BBC? Five. And weren't you the one that said you haven't watched any of my videos? Yeah, that don't mean I ain't got a BBC. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was gonna say you're like a like a specialist. I'm a spe oh, I'm a professional. No, like I mean, like do you only go for like black guys, Essex guys? Babe, I'm not picky. Okay, okay. Yeah. Just... Number eight. Sorry, I'm losing count. I haven't been single for a while. How long? It depends um, what you want to call single, but I mean, there's always someone around town. What, like, just, are you, like, seeing her, shagging her? Like, what's the situation? Along the lines of, um, yeah, I mean, tomato, tomato. Man's fixing riddles. <laughs> well, number eight and four, both talking in riddles. One of them is just, like, 
speaking Japanese, and the other one is Liverpudlian, so I don't really understand what he's saying. This round, I'm going to remove number eight. I appreciate that. I don't know if it's because you're from far away as well, your voice sounds small, like you sound small. I'm sorry. No worries. Unlucky. Yeah. Bye -bye. Sorry. It's alright. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I think it's just because, like. It's cool. Well, nice to meet you. It's good nice to put um, a face to a name. Sweet as. A name to. Name to what, you know, face, yeah. Right? Yeah, a voice to a face. That's what I'm getting at. Thanks for eliminating me. No, it's alright. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care. Take care. Round two, let's go. Right. Sweet. Number one. What would you ever do if I slept with one of your best mates in the past? I'm not really asked because I see people for how they are, like not the past. Take you as your present. What if I slept with your best mate now? That's a problem, that's not happening. I'd be <laughs> You're gone and he is gone. Right, number two. <coughs> yeah. Same question. And we're trying to date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, is this not what this is? Oh, it's number five. These lot are long. I'm smashing you down. And I'm <laughs> you down honestly, and you got a pair of sexy toes, and I'll suck your bottom lip. <laughs> number three, did we miss out you? To be honest with you, yeah, I'd probably go for it and just see who's better at the end, isn't it? Well, to be honest, I'd like to. I actually would wouldn't mind like shagging all your mates and you, because then I can pick like who's better. Number four. Yeah, to be honest with you, you wouldn't want any of mates after a good fucking few rounds with me. Uh, well, yeah, nah, I mean, it's whatever you're into, innit? Are you speaking anything? Like, there's a lot of words coming out. I don't think you're talking of that accent, bro. What, who's talking now? No, that's number seven. Seven. Number, seven. number seven. Number seven? Yeah. What are you speaking up for? Pipe down. Oh. <laughs> number six? Still here? Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I wouldn't really care about that. What about if I'd even, like, dated your friend? Yeah, that's fine. Have you done that before with your exes? I've had a few threesomes, but not with my, any of my partners. Number seven. Yeah, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if you fucked with my friends in the past. So you wouldn't mind it? What if I dated him? In the past? Or, like, now? Archery! <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind in the past. It's fine. You, so you'd all take me out on a date after I've fucking shagged your mate? All day, like, number five. <laughs> Hey, I'm a dominant one, so what's mine's mine, do you know what I mean? I like, I kind of like that energy. Someone's, you know, got a bit of a backbone around here. Yeah, masculine no, energy. Yeah, right, that's number one, isn't it? Yeah. He's short as a jockey, though. Pardon? He doesn't sound that short. I think I'm like, I feel like I'm more talking up to him. Yeah, yeah. All the same size lying down. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. What would you do if I made more money than you? Like, is that a problem? See, it's quite a demasculating thing, I'll be real, but if my girl's on it and I'm grinding with her, I'll make it, I'll make sure that I make more money than in the future, do you know what I'm saying? But it's like, when I'm with someone, I want to build with them, do you know what yeah. I mean? So if you do make more money, that's good. You go, so girl, you do you know support I mean? me in all my business aspects? Yeah, of course, 100%. Even when I want to have a gangbang? I mean, it is what it is, you've got to make your money, do you know what I mean? I, I want 50%. I, you know what? I'll be kind of in London, <laughs> and I'm fine with that, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, can I ask how much you make now? I, I make about 20 grand a month. What do you, what fucking hell? What do you do? Um, I run an OnlyFans management and a concierge service. Oh, this is why he's sweet talking me, trying to get me on. <laughs> 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 You've been paying. <laughs> no, no, Number two? Yeah. So, what would you do if I made more, more money than you? Is that a problem? Honestly, I'm a grind on myself, so if I see you getting to the bag, that's going to inspire me to get to the bag as well. So what, what do you do right now? Right now, I'm an artist and a content creator. Okay, so you a stay-at-home mum then, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so artists, what what kind of artist? I mean, you rap. I rap. like to make inspiration. Can we music. hear a rendition? Serenade me. She didn't want to see me then, but I bet she'll see me now. Mm -hmm. Uptown of Trill. Back then, man, we used to be down. Down. Never used to push my <laughs> thing. Back then when I had no clout, clout. now I'm with Lily and Pounds. <laughs> it's now like I'm making pounds, pounds. <laughs> I'm sad, sad. <laughs> but, but, but. I love that. I love Appreciate that energy. That really Where's the rest of you? Singing, serenading me. What, what number was that, sorry? Two. Number two. You will be remembered number two. Appreciate it. No, number three? Yo. So if I made more money than you, what are you saying? Bit of a sticky one, innit? <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't like that. I would like uh, overtake you at some point, innit? 
How? Well, because that, I'm working hard, I'm doing like, a lot of stuff at the minute, do you know what I mean? Any business ideas you can share with us? I'm big time on my real estate, innit? Reels? Instagram real estate, reels. houses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> where, do you, where do you sell houses? Surrey. Surrey, lovely. So just outside of London. Is that, that's, is that where you live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you live with your parents? No, no, no. Okay. It's a bit expensive though, so I've already got a flat in it. Oh, no, I, I live in a flat. I think that's fine. As long as you've got a roof over your head, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Matches on the floor will right. be fine. Number four? Is it, what, what was the question again? Like, yeah. what would you do if I made more money than you? Yeah. To be honest with you, I'd more for it. I like uh, to drive you to make more, obviously. <laughs> um, I feel like I have nothing against it. I'm very driven myself as well, so Come on. To, to make money. On the, You're on one the of them guys who's like a trader? I don't do trading, no. I've never actually tried, but high risk, high reward, for sure, you know? Number five? I won't mind. I, I, to be fair with you, I, I'll, I'll be happy that you make a lot of money, but in my head, I would never let you make more money than me. How much are you making currently? I can't tell you. Okay. <laughs> but I'm a hard worker. I, never, I believe in never sitting down. What do you do? Uh, I work in a jewellery shop in Hatton Garden, selling a lot of watches, Rolexes and stuff like that. Also, I do PT and in a gym. I do a lot Oh, so of... you've got a fit body then? I don't know. Can I feel your muscles? <sighs> Get up, we're fucked. For <laughs> 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 fuck's sake. Oh, yeah. Mm. Are <laughs> 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 you going to pull my hand out? <laughs> no, I do, um, I, do a lot of, I do a lot of PT and I do a lot of street interviews as well and podcasting and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I, I, don't, I don't believe in sitting down. There's always something yeah. to do. Grand on stuff. Yeah, yeah, grand on stuff. Yeah. But I also support you no matter what you want to do as well. Do you know what I mean? Even when I like to be khaki. Pardon? <laughs> Even when I want to be khaki. <laughs> If you want to be khaki, be khaki. I'm a bit khaki. I'll be more khaki than you do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean, man. Number six. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind you earning more money, but uh, I've got a uh, few dreams of my own. So, like, trying to get on Misfits Boxing. I do flooring. I've got my own clothing brand. And I do TikTok as well, and obviously uh, Instagram, so... Okay, do you, Hopefully do you when... box at the minute, then? Yeah, you was actually at one of my fights. Ooh! <laughs> did you win? Uh, yeah, I won in the third oh, round. I would have loved so. if you lost your Nah, name. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you, you're actually on YouTube at the front of my fight. I'm trying to think what fights I've been to. It was in Heathrow, so, in March, so... Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm a good boxer, so hopefully, I, when I get on Misfits, I can earn more than you, so... Yeah, I like that. Okay. Believe you, I believe Number you. seven? Yeah, I don't mind. I think it's attractive, the whole like, power couple dynamic sort of thing. I think it's attractive when you make your own money. Yeah, I do quite a lot, um, mainly real estate. I do trading as well, I don't know why you hate trading. Trading? Yeah. But, uh, yeah Summer! Quite... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that concludes round two, right? I think I've got a solid answer already. Number seven, you're giving like the least amount of energy possible. And that's why I like to get confident. Oh, Sorry. Bring it in, bro. Bring it in. It's going in order. Lights can everything I want. What you think? You know what I want? Of course. Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're so not what I thought you'd look like. How do you think I look like? You, you, you don't sound white. I'm Eastern European. Maybe okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you so Take much. Care. See you Take care. So, ready for round three? Let's go. Now, seeming number five always has to have an answer for everything. I'm going to ask you first. Go on then, girl. What would you do if I never cooked for you? If you never what? Cooked for you. Oh, uh, I'm not going to lie. I can cook. Oh my god. Oh, I'm a that's banging good, chef. That's good. I I'm, love to eat. I'm a, I can cook. I look, I'm, I'm not going to turn it, walk into the ass and be like, babe. What we got for dinner because I'm gonna just cook myself. I'm not gonna wait for you. I'm hungry. Are you cooking for me as well? Of course. Okay. What's your best food? Uh, What's your go-to? Mate, like tomato soup. Tomato soup. Yeah. Don't, that's easy then. But isn't like it? Heinz. What's your go-to alcohol? What's your What's your best spirit? Um, maybe like a rosé. A rosé. Mm. Oh, that's all right. It's all right. We can do that. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> so you like tomato soup and a rosé? That's fucking easy. <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> Um, it has to be Heinz though. Heinz, yeah. Bit, yeah, yeah. bit of nice bread as well with it. Yeah. Do you like to dip? A dip? Do you like a dip? A dip? A, not a dick, a dip. <laughs> <laughs> Both, yes. Yes. Number four. See, do you know what? It's one of them things, like I'm one of them guys where <laughs> hopefully you can be ready in like 
let's say, give you an hour, get ready, we'll go out for food. Or uh, I can cook myself as well, obviously I go to the gym. Um, oh, I shouldn't have asked number five first, because everyone's just going to steal this answer. Thanks, babes. Yeah. <laughs> number six. Uh, yeah, obviously I can cook. Uh, I don't keep this six foot five muscular figure for nothing. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Who, wait, who's <laughs> Can we give you a piggyback? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm six foot four and a half. He's taking the piss. <laughs> Which one's that one? Uh, number three, he's being right. rude, yeah. No, no, wait, which one's six foot? Me, I'm six four and a half. Number six. Number six? Number six. What do you, kind of things do you eat to be that big? Giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone live with their parents? No. I see my mum a lot though, so yeah, I don't know I, what you like yeah, to see. I see my mum a lot. Number that? Number five. Number five, so you're a family person. Always. Yeah. Gotta be, man. Yeah, I like that, I'm, I'm close to my parents. I would love to meet them. <laughs> I bet your mum's a salt as well. <laughs> <laughs> well. Would you introduce me to your parents? All day. It's a bit, it's a bit mad to say, but I'm number, I come from a big family. I'm number eight on my mum, and then on my dad, I'm number 37. Sorry? He's yeah. got 37 I've got 30, kids? Yeah, my dad's got 30. I'm number 37 on my dad, and I'm number eight on my oh mum. My dad. Oh, my, oh my God. Yeah, I come from a big family, so our weddings are really Wait, I might have one of your brothers. You might have. You might have. It don't, ma don't matter now. You're mine now, aren't you? <laughs> or your dad. Yeah. So you, my, my mum and dad get along with you because the one, my mum's... Who's this? Who, what number is this? Number one. Because my mum's only like 37. She had me when she was 16. Oh and the last God. girl I was with did OF. So it's like, they're sort of used to that anyway. Oh. Because you, you obviously do OnlyFans management. You were around... Just a lot of OF girls there, and you used to. Yeah, yeah, she's culture. used to it all. She understands mm -hmm. everything. She understands the marketing and all marketing stunts, everything behind it. So, so she doesn't mind. It. No, she don't mind. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> I've had a bit of a run-in with parents before, so that's no, always good. No, you'll, you'll be following your mum. Trust me. Yeah, my mum's my screensaver on my phone. She's like my best mate, so. I wouldn't mind. What do you say? <laughs> no, she is. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm a proper family man. So. You don't need to prove yourself, it's okay. <laughs> Number two? I'll be real, I grew up in a household where we cook a lot. My sisters cook. My Marge cooks. So your parents have always cooked for you and so have your sisters? I cook myself as well. And ideally, I'd want you to. Oh, your voice sounds really hot, but like, I can't cook for shit, so. <clears throat> you never know if you don't try. I'll make you some, some traditional dish, man. Something different. What, what's your traditional dish? It's called Fornish. Fornish. Where are you from, sorry? Or where? I'm from Angola. Okay. Got a bit of Portuguese and Brazilian in me as well. Right. I don't know why no one else has said this, innit? Because it's mm. such a simple answer. I'll just eat you instead, innit? Eh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. Why didn't they go? That's disgusting. Fine. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> so if I went on a girl's holiday every other month, mm -hmm. What would you do? Number one. I'm not an insecure man. I'm a dominant man, so I don't care. I know if I can, I can put my girl in any place for what I can provide for her and how I treat her. And she won't touch no man when she's out there. If, if it's with your OF, it's completely different. Do you know what I'm saying? But if you're going off your own back, but I can put my woman in any place in the earth and I know she won't touch anyone because of how I act. Right. Number two. I'll be real. If you're getting to the bag, you know, you're making your money, then I'm going to be your supporter. Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe. I don't even like girls holidays that much. Is it? Not, not like one a month. I feel like that'd be a bit intense anyway. Maybe some solo trips or a little yeah. weekend date or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind going on holiday on my own with people. Mm. It's a bit long. You travel often? Yeah. Yeah? But like, not for just for work. Yeah, like not for holidays and stuff. Yeah, would you be free to come with me? Yeah, that can be arranged. We can do that. Number three? What, so if you went on a girl's holiday every other month? Yeah, what are you saying? You do your thing, I'll do my thing. Oh, I so you're going on guys' holidays? Sometimes I'm spontaneous, I just like to go last minute to somewhere, do you know what I mean? Are you going with your mates? Are you going on your sometimes own? Sometimes I go on my own, sometimes I go with my brother, that's it, really. Right, are you pretty independent? Pretty much, yeah. How old are you? 23. 23? Oh, you're not that old. <laughs> I like a bit of an older guy. Number four, oh, how old are you? I'm 22. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not helping your case. I know. I mean, I'm not about lads holidays anymore. I've been on a few in the past and all my mates are all about partying and, and I'm, I'm over that stage now, you know? Travelling with a lot of places with culture and obviously <coughs> take you with me. I feel like that's the, the type of thing anyone Where are you taking me? Mm. I'm off to Dubai solo in oh. January. Why are you going solo? If I, if I turn around and mention to my mate, let's go, for example, I feel they'll be all over it like a rush. But mm. when it comes to places with culture, no one's what, really... What, like Dubai? <laughs> I've never been, but... Um, 
when it comes to places like that, not many people are afford it, you know, like experiencing new I things. Know what you, mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like, you just yeah. want to, you don't, you want to go experience the world, yeah, you know what I mean? Drink Do you guys want to get off? <laughs> <laughs> Stop number what? four? That was number four. Was sorry, you. number five, I'm so sorry. I'm not going to lie, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming with you, I'm not going to lie. You can't steal my mates though. Why, man? They might want to f*** me. Yeah. <laughs> we can f*** off and go somewhere like skiing. I think that'd be cool, man. You like skiing? I love skiing, babe, oh, man. Oh, you're talking my language. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Step back in line. Have you we? been skiing much then? Yeah, I go to Austria. You ski or snowboard? Yeah, snowboarding. Yeah, I can I tell. love snowboarding, it's funny. Snowboarders are cooler. It's better, innit? Well, they're just cooler people. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Number six. I wouldn't mind if you went, as long as we get a holiday a year as well. Or at least a couple. I've been away for si uh, six times this year already. So. Woo! Flex it! <laughs> Go on. I'm self-employed at work, so... Where have you been? Uh, Thailand, Budapest, Edinburgh. Edinburgh, that's Edinburgh. not f***ing <laughs> no, on. No, what, still, still been away? away. Still away. The cultural experience of Thailand, Edinburgh. Uh, Tenerife. This year. No, no black Vietnam man in September last year. <laughs> black Paul Pleasure Beach. Like no, I'm always away. Every other month I'm away, so I'll either come or we go on our own holidays. I like that. Where would you take me? I want to go to the Philippines next. Ooh. Ooh. I've been to Thailand, Vietnam. I want to do Philippines, so. That's good, bro. What is your favourite thing about me? Number one. Starting from number one to number six. Expert. Expert. Elegant. Okay, thank you. I'll be real with just your legs in it. Oh, thank you. You've got a lovely style, lovely fashion sense. <laughs> oh, number it's five. It's more than one word or so. Your legs, I want you to wrap them around my neck and choke me. <laughs> Honestly. I think that was ten words. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a lot of I'm telling you. Uh, number six, yeah, just your banter. You could take, like, dark humour and shit. I like that. What'd you say? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's 2024, it's rare. It's 2024, isn't it? You can't get... I like that, I like that. Oh, my God, I really don't know who to pick these rounds. Oh, this is actually a tough decision because I feel like I haven't had enough time with you all yet. I want to take all six of you, like, back home with me. <laughs> um, number two, I think I'm going to go for you. Damn. So sorry. Fez. Unlucky boy. Like Am I in the right spot? I think so. Two, one. <laughs> you let that float. Yeah. 20 years old. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Wait, how old are you? 24. 24? Yeah. You look a bit older. You? Not that you look old. You, yeah. you dress mature. I get I get it. Like you just look fresh. You don't oh, look you? like a... I'm 23. You're 23? Yeah. Okay. You don't mature yourself as well. <laughs> hey, thank you. Well, sorry if I look a bit rough. Zoom in all my makeup's wiped off on right. here. You're but welcome, lovely to man. meet you. Well, thank you. you. Well. Take care. <laughs> Take care. Good luck. I just need like a reminder of your guys' voices. Will you just say what number you are? I'm number one. Number three. Number four. Number five. <laughs> number six. I think I'm going to go for number three. Oof. Sorry. Uh, you're like the one I feel like I've least talked to. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. <sighs> How you doing, you're right. <laughs> you lot all f***ing lie because you're like, oh, we're well taller than you. <laughs> and you've all been short. So I've got my tiptoes, yeah. isn't it? No, it's nice 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 you. you. <laughs> See you later. Take care. I haven't asked you guys even what your type is yet. Like, am I your type? Do I fit what you usually go for? Um, number one? See, I don't really have a type. It's just if we bounce, we have that good connection. Do you know what I mean? Tits or arse, then? Arse. I ain't got either, so we're losing either way. <laughs> number four? No, I can't lie, you're my type to a C. I love a blondie, for sure. You've got a good style, good fashion sense, so, yeah, definitely my type to a T, 100%. I love a blondie. Blondie? Yeah. yeah. Right. Number five? I think me and you suit, you know. See, if we walk in a room, heads are turning, because we both got good energy, do you know what I mean? And we will look sick together, and we have good babies as well. <laughs> Are you boobs or bum? I'm both, you know. Both, okay. Yeah, I don't mind, I don't mind. But I'm both, definitely. Yeah, nice teeth on a girl is a must. Uh, nice pretty teeth. face. Have you got your teeth done? No. <laughs> well, you ain't got well, I've got nice teeth. Have you? Uh, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sh shorter than me. And shorter they've got to have a nice pink. Are you the nice one that's in your six foot four? Yeah, so you're shorter than me, so. See, this um, is like throwing me off so much because now he's saying six foot four, like, but you could just. Six foot four and a half. Chatting uh, out his ass. Guys, is he chatting out his ass? I'm not. No comment. No comment. Yeah, Damn no comment. Yeah, no, uh, See, I'm I not... think if he was lying, then you'd all call him out on it. So he's not yeah, lying. exactly. 
you got banging toes though, ain't you? Thank you, I just had them done. I know, they look I banging. Sorry, I, can't, I don't know why I look down at them when I can't <laughs> see them. Um, so I'm predominantly known to not be wife material. Do you reckon you could turn me into a wife? Um, I think yeah, when you've got a masculine um, presence around you, you sort of go back into your feminine energy, do you know what I'm saying? When you can feel safe and secure around people, protecting, providing. Obviously those are the traditional values, but it's changed now because obviously you don't have more money, but as long as you've got that masculine energy around you, you'd be in your feminine energy, so I, I reckon I could turn you into a wife material, guaranteed. Okay, would you, would you wife a, a girl who does, is in my industry? Yeah, I've already done it before. My ex is in the industry as well. I think we'll do good, man. I think, because at the same time, you, your girl's got to be your best friend as well. So even, That's true, I like you know that. I mean? yeah. So I can make you my best friend, then I can shag you, then I'll, then I'll wife you. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you taking me on this first date, did you say? Well, me and you. Yeah, We're yeah. going skiing, aren't we? Ski, uh, Straight to the mountains. Eight. you got money. Number six? Uh, I'm going to be honest. You're an independent woman. You earn a lot of money. You do what you do, and I'm sure you'll get to a point in your life when you want to settle down. And hopefully that's when we go on our second date, so... You wouldn't wife me with what I do right now? I would, but you're going to get to a point to where you want to stop. Maybe would you, one would day. you not let me um, work and be with you? Of course. As long as we're still doing relationship stuff, going on holidays, going out to dates, you know? So you, she could be with you and I can still hit? If you give me a bit of money. <laughs> nah, I no, can't be so no. Rough like oh, that. Nah. Right. I wouldn't do that, no way. All in thin. Wow. No, but if it's for work purposes, what's that's your job. That's true. So what what can I say for one and two, what can I do? Well you boys know what you're getting yourselves into. So. Exactly. Yes. Do you know what you're getting yourself into with me? <laughs> 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 so that concludes round five. I think the person I'm gonna choose is Number four, Liverpudlian boy. So sorry. No, I just want to say, I kind of need a bit of a translator, so. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're right. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet Lovely you. To meet you look stunning, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Proper, like, Liverpudlian vibe. So, this is the final round where I can't see your faces. So make sure these answers count. Number one, have you ever been in love? We're getting deep here. Yeah, I've been in love twice. Twice? Twice, yeah. Love a boy. Are you both strictly over them now? Yeah, completely. When was the last time you saw them both? Ages, like years. Years? Yeah. So it's been years since you've slept with them? Once it's an ex, it's an ex. I don't go back there, I'm oh, okay. so Because it's just that like sort of trauma bond. Yeah, I get that. Number five, have yeah. you ever been in love? Of course, once. Once? Once, and I learned a lot from it. When was that? That was two, two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago? Yeah. Are you completely over it? I'm completely over it. That's why I'm here. <laughs> still, still looking for someone to fall back in love? Yeah, 100%. 100%, man. I've got a big heart as well. What was her name? Yeah. It was... Pss, 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 pss. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell someone's broke his heart with yeah. the size of their muscles. Yeah. <laughs> Man's been hitting gym too much. <laughs> so did you just start like, dedicating your life to the gym after she broke up with you? Um, in a way, yeah, because I didn't want... It, it's somewhere you can put all your anger and stuff like that. Did she break your heart? Did she break up with you all? No, we just went separate ways. Right. Did you fall out of love? Definitely, I did. I did, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Choking me up here. Uh, <laughs> number apple six. In your throat, isn't it? Uh, yeah, my first ex. I'd say I was in love with. I was with her like when we was in school. God, till... you're all proper lover boys in school. We was together four years, uh, and then we just grew apart really. But I'd say the girl I was seeing last September, I, I I was more hurt from what she done rather than my first two exes. What'd so she do? She farted on me. Oh, <laughs> oh so that's why you broke up with her. You broke up no, with because she farted. No, like she had a secret boyfriend of four years. That's the worst thing was ever. So oh, where did the fart come from? I know. What was that? Like, <laughs> as I was upset when she farted on me. But like, did you do you do anything to get her back or anything like no. that? No, no. Why would I do that? We wasn't officially together, but we were seeing each other seven oh, months. Oh, well, that's different. No, we was travelling the world together. You got it out of him, didn't you, babe? <laughs> yeah. Finally, we was travelling around to together. But I'm saying that hurt more than my first ex. So. This one's a tough one because you all sound lovely. But I'm going to pick number six. It was that last final comment. <laughs> you fucked it for yourself. <laughs> nice, to meet, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh...
too funny. It's funny. I'm six foot four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. You're six foot four in my well, I'm fucking arse. Five, five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but you was at my uh, fight with HS, so. Yeah, I think I do remember. I actually it, messaged yeah. you after saying, "What did you think of my fight?" And you heard me say. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got a lot of DMs. Apologies. I'll mess you back now. Yeah. No. <laughs> Thank you so nice much, though. Lovely to meet you. Right, do I get to see both the other boys now? Sorry, I feel like my makeup's fucked. <laughs> Fat the girl, you're right. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> making me laugh, like, point good eyebrows though, I couldn't see Oh, thank you, I feel like I look like shit because I've had this thing on, it's rubbed off. Big oh, blue eyes as well, ain't you? Big man? Big blue eyes. <laughs> but you said big man. <laughs> no, I'm the big man. Big <laughs> man. Lovely thing. eyes though, Got lovely eyes, good thank smile you. as well. Thank you. It's all right. So I've seen you before. Yeah. Well, you, were, you were at the party on Saturday as well, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Why didn't you invite me? <laughs> yeah. Didn't know you then. What is the craziest thing you've ever done? So I, I've done a hot tub stream because obviously my ex did OF, so it was with a couple of girls and that live streamed on multiple phones. Uh, so we had a lot of money and they got loads of different camera angles and then it was just literally me and, and then that's probably the craziest thing that I've ever done. Wait, uh, like a hot tub live stream? Like a hot tub live stream, like a full scene and there was just cameras positioned on different people's OF and then it was just me. I what think mine you? is we all had a drink, I was with like four birds, we had a drinking challenge and you know when you drink so much that you get bloated, then one of them blew me up and I threw up all down my leg, it was vodka and it was lovely. You loved it? Yeah, man. So, do you have any questions for me? I feel like I've just fired questions at you the whole time. Where's the most craziest place you've had sex? At a festival while I was watching, I think it was like, what's his name, Dave, okay. in the crowd. Oh, you, you, oh is it? You yeah. was in the crowd? Yeah. Oh, that's sick, Little, man. like, bend over action. That was sick, man. <laughs> that's sick, I like that. So, in terms of your career, what was, like, your inspiration to get into it, or why did you actually get into that Mr. line Mr. Masculine. <laughs> <laughs> Just the lo the sheer love. Makes sense. He's too serious. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to, like, get me on his management, no, no, and, like, moneymaker. How come you've gone for double green? I just like to be I thought you meant to come like, they, did, did they not say like, come like best dressed? Like? No, I just come how I want to be, I just, you know what I mean? Come in your pajamas. Do what I, yeah, do what, I, dress out how I want. <laughs> I'm confident anyway, I don't mind. Yeah, you could wear a bin bag and you still look good. Bosh. <laughs> right, I think it's time to choose. I'm gonna choose this person because they've given me the best energy and the best answers. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna to have to go for number five. So commiserations to number one. Thank you so much though. That's yeah, all good. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, anytime. <laughs> You're the only one that probably talked to me You've the got whole to shake time. It. Squeeze <laughs> me, squeeze me, squeeze me. Feel it now. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, comment and subscribe. Now let's go. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> She's mine, bye. <laughs>